Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that I'm going to show you right now is breaking as of about 30 minutes ago. It turns out that even Hunter Biden, son of President Biden, is going to get thrown on the altar of gun control from the DOJ. Just coming in, they have said he cannot and should not be able to use the Second Amendment defense, setting up something that we are going to watch like a hawk. Everything will be linked right in the description box below, and I can't wait to hear what you guys think about this one. And of course, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. And this content is brought to you by American Heart for Gold. I'm going to say a quick word, and then we're going to show you what's going on. And the content today is brought to you by American Heart for Gold. And brothers and sisters, with everything popping off around the world, war is cracking off. We've got inflation issues. We've got stock market volatility. We have cash concerns. We have oil concerns. It's a good time to take a look at at least know your options with American Heart for Gold. They are dedicated to offering gold, silver, platinum, coins, and bars for your investing needs. Whether you want to do it delivered to your door or you want an IRA, Roth IRA, 401k, TSP, they've got options. This is something you guys should check out. At American Hartford Gold, they aim to educate clients about investments in the precious metal industry, strive to provide unparalleled customer service built on trust, integrity, and absolute transparency, while holding a goal of achieving 100% customer satisfaction. Click the link in the description or call 844-727-3199. That's 844-727-3199 or text Langley to 65532. Again, that's 844-727-3199 or text Langley to 65532. All right, my brothers and sisters, we are about to get into this because the saga that is baby Biden, Hunter Biden, around the gun charge, expecting to use the Bruin decision and saying that <clears throat> basically any charges to put him in a gun charge on a felony level are unconstitutional based off that Bruin decision and purchasing and owning and possessing a firearm under the uh, issue of drugs perfectly fine because there's no uh, there's no history text and tradition the saga that this has been is getting real interesting in fact look the DOJ just threw baby Biden underneath the bus in an election year when this trial is going to continue this is a big thing make sure you send this one out Hunter Biden not protected from gun charges by Second Amendment, DOJ argues. Now, keep in mind, this is Papa Biden's baby boy. This is Papa Biden's DOJ, the little department that he's used as his own little uh, play toy. Yeah, um, awkward family dinner conversation. Yeah, I'm just saying. But let's continue. Let me show you what they are saying that he should not and probably will not be able to do which then has ramifications for our fight across the board, which this entire thing has the whole time. That's why we cover it. Wilmington, Delaware. President Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, posed a threat to public safety and cannot rely on his constitutional right to a firearm to avoid prosecution for federal gun charges, the U.S. Department of Justice said in a court filing on Tuesday. He posed a threat to public safety. Okay, that's interesting. That's an interesting angle. Let's continue going. Let me show you what else they're saying here. Hunter Biden's legal team has misinterpreted U.S. Supreme Court guidance by arguing there is no historical precedent for preventing people with a history of substance abuse from, from possessing guns, the DOJ said. Now, it's pretty straightforward to see their thinking. You have any type of history with drugs, you are therefore a dangerous person, therefore you are a prohibited person, therefore you can't depend on your Second Amendment rights because you lost it. That's the line, that's the flowchart, right? Well... Baby Biden and his attorneys have been trying everything under the sun, and not to mention the ultimate irony of his father being the ultimate anti-2A advocate. Um, his son's using the 2A as a defense to get himself out of the hot water. <clears throat> Again, you can't make this stuff up. Quote, Anglo-American law has long recognized that the government may disarm those who, by their conduct or characteristics, present an increased risk to public safety if they possess firearms, the DOJ said in a court filing in Delaware. So, big red flag. When you see the Anglo-American law, that means they're going way beyond the United States. That's what that means. That means they're going to go back to 16, 15, 14, 1300, which they've done consistently over the arguments for the Second Amendment. It happens a lot if you read the case law um, and the decisions. Well, and the arguments for that matter. But it's very interesting. When you see Anglo-American law, that's exactly what that means. Although, you know avoid the obvious pitfall. I'm sure there's some sort of issue with Anglo-American because that's like not inclusive or something. But anyway, let me show you what the uh, attorney for Biden has said. Again, the ramifications for this for our Second Amendment fight are huge. 
because we're watching all of this unfold. Not to mention there have been ult- multi- no, excuse me, multiple other court decisions which have made marijuana use or marijuana history unconstitutional be used as a Second Amendment cudgel. Anyway, let's continue. His attorney, Abe Lowell, asked for the federal judge to dismiss the case in December, arguing that the law used to charge Hunter Biden was likely unconstitutional based on a recent Supreme Court ruling on the U.S. Constitution's Second Amendment, which protects the right to possess firearms. That's where we've been. So in December, they said, let's just get rid of it completely. That's the answer here. The DOJ is filing in court saying, no, we're going to continue. And that's kind of why I want to do this video. You talk about being in a hard spot during an election year. You want to rally against gun control or get rally against gun rights and for gun control as one of your main party platforms. Meanwhile, your own DOJ is investigating and charging your son, saying he should not be able to get off the hook for the Second Amendment defense. I mean, get the popcorn. This is about to get exactly what we've been talking about for a while. Spicy. Because as this continued through, I told you, as we get into the election year, the Biden White House doesn't want this to exist for political reasons, obvious ones. Well, now it's going to continue because the DOJ is not backing down. The DOJ said laws dating back to 1328 in England have restricted people who were considered dangerous from possessing weapons. It said language from those laws were applied in the United States... <clears throat> Excuse me. In the United States, at the time of the adoption of the U.S. Constitution and the Second Amendment. Now, this one is interesting. What they're saying, you know how I mentioned earlier the Anglo-American law thing? Well, now they're saying going back to 1328 in England, before we had a constitution, before the United States existed, before the continent was really, you know, discovered. Yeah, that perfectly fine because people who were dangerous couldn't have arms. So... Uh, that, that was there in law before the Constitution, so therefore the Constitution became in law once that was in law, so therefore we now have European gun laws. See the argument? This is about to get really fascinating, and I can't wait to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.